In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. I confess, Almighty oh God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in my life, and what I have felt to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I have expressed the merit of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. My beloved, <coughs> obedient as you have always been, not only when I'm present, but all the more now when I'm absent, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For God is the one who, for his good purpose, works in you both to desire and to work. Do everything without grumbling or questioning, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish. In the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine like lights in the world, as you hold on to the word of life, so that may boast for the day of Christ may be, that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. But even if I'm poured out a salvation, upon this sacrificial service of your faith. I rejoice and share my joy with all of you. In the same way, you also should rejoice and share your joy with me. The word of the Lord. Yes, Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, blessed are you. For the Spirit of God rests upon you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them. If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, this one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would, would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king, advancing against him with 10,000, 20,000 troops. But if not, while he is still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions 
cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord. In today's first reading, St. Paul makes it very clear that it's not easy to be Christian. He goes to the extent of asking the people of Philippi to work out your salvation with fear and with trembling. Working out our salvation with fear and trembling. Not leaving any stone unturned and doing everything without grumbling or questioning so that we can be blameless before God, as children of God. And Paul says, he goes on and he says, but even if I am going to, even if I am poured out as a libation upon the sacrificial service of your faith, I rejoice and I share my joy with all of you. Even if I'm supposed to be poured as libation, so Paul gives his entire self and invites everyone to give their entire self to Jesus if we have decided to follow him. And in the gospel reading, Jesus resonates that as saying that if you want to follow him and you do not hate all the things that are impediments to Christ, all the things that are contrary to Christ's teaching, including your very self, your father, your mother, your children, your brothers and sisters, and even if your own life, if there are certain things in your life, St. Paul says, and Jesus says, if there are certain things in my life which are drawing me away from the Lord, I must take them away so that I can be following Jesus. See, we must always be calculating and we must always be planning and we must always be resolute after we have done all this calculation and planning. You have heard that song, I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. You've heard that before. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. You know, once you are resolute to follow Jesus, there should be no turning back. That's why St. Paul says that he is willing to be poured as a libation. He has decided to follow Jesus. He's not turning back. So whatever you want to do with him, he's ready to do that. He's in love for Jesus. And he's a fool for Jesus. Where do you stand? Where do I stand? Let us pray. For our Holy Mother Church, may she continue to grow in holiness and unity, we pray to the Lord. Lord For civic leaders, may the Holy Spirit impart wisdom upon them as they work to improve their communities, we pray to the Lord. Lord For families experiencing discord or separation, May God's love sustain them in their trials, we pray to the Lord. Lord For members of this faith community, may God give us strength as we work to build his kingdom on earth, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have passed away, may they dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord For the intention for which this Mass is being offered, for all souls novena, for Ligia Tapia, for Roseanne Hela, we pray to the Lord. Lord in thanksgiving to the Lord for the successful um, um, elections, and we pray for peace in this nation and uh, throughout the world, in Russia and in Ukraine, in the Gaza, in Palestine and in Israel, in Haiti and in Jamaica, and in every corner where there is no peace, that the Lord may secure peace for us, we pray to the Lord. Lord O oh God, our light and our salvation, it is your will. If it is your will, kindly grant our requests and prayers, for we pray through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer. The earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drain. God, we ask you to be pleased with the sacrifice which we offer to you with humble and with contrite hearts. Lord, what shall we offer you to be confessed to you from all our sins? Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering may be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands. The praise and glory of his name. Amen. Let us pray. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. For we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy. Through your dear Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, for the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of you. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by a cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Please do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us share the peace with one another. Ayons de ye, Quito is becatamundi, is a rare no hobby. Ayons de ye, Quito is becatamundi, is a rare no hobby. Ayons de ye, Quito is becatamundi. Dona no bis pahache. Beloved, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God. This is He who calls us to take up our crosses and follow Him every day. How blessed are we who have come to share at the Sacred Supper. Lord, Lord I am worthy of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the word in my soul shall. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us, Father. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits are proud about the world, seeking the reign of souls. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O oh, most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy dissension, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come before thee, we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despite what our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray with us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May your Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We hope to see those of you who can at the 9 o'clock Bible study. Have a good day. Thank you, Father.